Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So this video I'm going to be teaching all of you how to use module scripts in Roblox Studio. So I'll be going over all the bases of module scripts, how to use them, how to apply them, all in this video. So a bunch of you might be thinking that module scripts are like confusing or you don't know how to use them. But it's actually quite simple once you get to know them. So that's what I'm going to be covering today. But first of all, what is a module script and like what does it do? So like a module script is used to hold a bunch of functions so you don't have to keep repeating yourself while scripting. So like if you're using a piece of code 20 times, instead of writing it in one script, you could just store all of it in this one module script and call it when you need it. So it will transform like your 20 lines of code into one line of code because all the functions will be stored here. And these functions can be called from the server and the client depending on where you put the module script. Okay, so let's just Quickly, as you can see, we have a module script right here. So what you have right here is a local module equals to a table and then a return module. So this table is going to be all your functions, okay? So if you wanted to make a function, you would do module dot and then you would do a function name like I would do print something, okay? That would be the module name equals to, so module dot print something equals to function and then now we have this. Now all your now anything you want to write it will be in here so let's just say print uh, success okay so now we have this so if we wanted to call the module script you would have to use another script like this okay so let's so if you wanted to like call a module script this is what you would do you would do local module equals to require okay require you need this require and then workspace no I mean no not workspace game a server script service the module script okay so just like that you have to require it so the script like downloads all the functions and knows what it is okay so now let's just do module dot oh look what we have right here print something because in the table it said once it requires it it knows that print something is a function in the module so once you call this and if I were to run it it will see what the function is and then it will print it from here so it will do the function here but the actual code is right here, but it just does it in this script, okay? So let's say uh, if I were to press run, let's go to test, and first let's view and let's look at the output, okay? So let's go test, and then just quickly, uh, I'll just press run. Okay, press run. Success. Okay? Right there, success from the module script, okay? So it just calls it and uh, the function runs, okay? We can even do this from the client, okay? But first the module script has to be in like replicated storage or somewhere where the client can access because the client does not have access to server storage or server script service. So you would put in the module script into the, uh, into uh, replicated storage and then we would just go lo local script, okay? From this local script, we would do uh, local module equals to require game.replicatedStorage.module script and then module.print something. So now if I were to pr press run and also it's just going to give me error for the server script because I didn't like change I, ch I changed it to replicated storage but so let's go to test and let me just press run. Okay look what will happen. Run. As you can see wait for it to load. Okay first that's the server script error where is the client? Oh yeah, I've pressed play because I'm the client. One second. Okay. So let me just press play. So now that I'm the client, look what happens. Okay, so first we have this. Now as soon as I load in and I get all my scripts to load, success from the client. So cl client and then module script. Okay. So I originally said that the script is performing the action. No, it's just that was my bad. The script is calling the module script and the module script will either do it on the client or on the server side. Okay? So that's pretty much what you need to know about module scripts. But now let's actually have like an example of what you do with a module script. Okay? So let's say we wanted to create a quick like round and intermission system, right? So let's just quickly have like a part right here. Okay? Let's have a part right here. And let's duplicate this and just make this, uh, where's the color? Color, we'll just make it like green. Okay, so we'll just call this part the intermission. Or no, let's call it lobby. And let's call this uh, like game. So just like that. And now 
Let's go to server script service. Okay, so add a script and then add a module script. So this script will be a local module equals to require uh, script dot parent dot module script. Okay, just like that. So now we're gonna create two functions in the module script. Okay, so one will be a countdown function because it has to count down to go between the lobby and the game for like an intermission system, and the second will be a teleport all players function, which will teleport the players from A to B. Okay, so pretty much. So let's start with the functions. Okay, so we will do uh, module dot countdown equals to function okay so we have our first function right here count okay and now let's have some parameters we'll, which will be start time so what you want to count down from and then round type so either intermission or uh, you know uh, intermission or game okay so you do 4i equals to start time comma 0 comma negative 1 so what this means that I will start at the start time which will be like a number let's say it's 30 so it will be 30 and then what it wants to go to is 0 and it will go in negative 1 increments which would mean counting down which would mean 39 30 29 28 just like that so you would do uh, so after this you do local current string equals to round type dot dot and then let's have like a semi uh, colon and then a space dot dot I so it would be round type let's say intermission and then it will just show the number so so count down like 10 9 8 just like that and then let's just do a wait one and also so it shows on the client side so the client knows we're gonna insert a string value into replicated storage okay we're gonna call this like message let's just call this message okay so we would do from this module script game to replicated storage dot message dot value equals to current string so we'll be saying like intermission 1098 so now quickly if we wanted to just show this to the to this client we will put a text label up here let's just like bring it all the way across and then just quickly text scale okay and just like this so we would have this so we just have a label up here okay so then in this label you just want to insert a local script and do a script I mean a local message equals to game dot message and then script parent text equals to message dot value and then a message get property change signal value connect function and then take this same code script parent text equals to message dot value so what this small script does is that originally it will take what this is and then like the message and then as soon as it changes it will change okay so now that we have this script right here for uh that means this function for countdown now let's do module dot teleport all players okay module that equals to function and then in the parameters let's just do like a part so we know what part to teleport to so we're gonna do for underscore comma plrs for like players in pairs and then in parentheses game dot players get children do if players dot character and players dot character dot humanoid so we're seeing if the player has a character so it doesn't cause error then we're gonna do players dot character move to part dot position okay so now we need the server script to execute all of these functions and have an orderly round system and provide the parameters okay so for the server script we would do while wait do so this will be a continual round system so we'll start off by module dot teleport all players workspace dot intermission workspace no workspace dot lobby okay so we're sending uh, the part so it will send teleport all the players to that uh, teleport all the players to the lobby so and then we're just gonna do mobile uh, module dot countdown and then for the parameters we'll do 10 so we like the countdown will start from 10 for the intermission and then the round type which is intermission so it will show up as intermission and let's just quickly make a comment that says intermission so when the intermission starts the module will teleport all players to the lob lobby part 
and then it will start the countdown and then once that is over we'll do module dot teleport all players again and this time it will be workspace dot game just like that and then let's just call this like game and then finally module dot countdown 20 comma game so what this will do is that first it will teleport all players to the lobby set, set a 10 second timer for intermission then teleport all players to the game part set a 20 second timer and we'll all repeat okay so let's test this out and then as again the text label will automatically be updating so let's see if this works okay so as you can see we have the intermission 7 6 and the reason I didn't get teleported because my player didn't load in before the server script started so look so we're intermission and then once the intermission hits 0 as, see, as you can see we're in game so it's going to count down from 16, 15, 14, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, and once this becomes a zero, it's going to restart, and now we're back at the intermission. So yeah, so this is basically how you can use a module script and like the basics of it. So, uh, so that's the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something new. Be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Bye.